We're going to turn now to the latest on the Gulf oil crisis. Four million gallons of oil have now spilled into the ocean, and this morning, a sight none of us wanted to see. Dolphins washed up on the shore, apparently killed by the oil. Jeffrey Kaufman in Venice, Louisiana, tells us another attempt to cap that leak is in motion. And Jeffrey, this is a new smaller dome they're going to try. Why should it work if the other didn't? Well, a good question, George, and actually we don't know if it will work. You know, this is all new science. The theory with these domes is they put them over the leak and they siphon the oil to the surface. The last one didn't work because of the intense pressure of the well and the intense cold a mile under. It created hydrates or ice crystals within it. They're hoping that because this one's smaller, there simply won't be room for the ice. It should be operational and we'll know by Thursday. It is known as the top hat. It won't be placed over the spewing well right away. BP engineers want to avoid what happened when they tried lowering the larger dome over the leak. The buildup of ice crystals clogged it. The crystals formed because of a huge amount of natural gas escaping from the well, much more than expected. It's quite uh, dangerous actually, especially for the people who are working on the ocean surface because if they don't take care, that gas can actually ignite and cause fire. Yet BP told ABC News, along with the natural gas, they've noticed a drop in pressure from the well. The pressure data we've observed in recent days gives us more confidence in a direct intervention. Though this image BP released of the main leak shot yesterday suggests oil pressure is still a problem. The company took us to the mouth of the Mississippi to see hazmat teams it's mobilized on the outer marshes, one of the three locations where oil has now breached the booms and come ashore. For BP, this is an environmental mess and a public relations mess. As hearings began in Washington, the company was on the defensive. It gets down to the agenda and the culture of the company. and, and It sure does, and the culture of this company is that there's been one accident after another. BP, Transocean and Halliburton all had a stake in the rig that exploded. In the hearings, they all blamed each other. Transocean, as owner and operator of the Deepwater Horizon drilling rig, had responsibility for the safety of drilling operations. There was a sudden catastrophic failure of the cement, the casing, or both. Without a failure of one of those elements, the explosion could not have occurred. Had the BOP functioned as expected, this catastrophe may well not have occurred. Now, if Plan B doesn't work, George, if that top hat doesn't work, they do have two more schemes in the works in the next 10 days, and we should see whether they work. If not, we're going to have to rely on that relief well, which will take another 75 days. That's George. right. Secretary Salazar, Interior Secretary Salazar, yesterday said that could take months. Jeffrey Kaufman, thanks very much.